Shadur proves why he's in a league of his own. While Beck and Ewers struggled under pressure for one game, be advised, my OnlyFans is now 20% off. Weirdos are going to come after y'all. Oh, no. Never. Oh, never. What's going on, good people? We all know Shadur Sanders is the best quarterback in college football, end of discussion. This weekend's games solidified something that should be clear to everyone by now. Shadur Sanders is the best quarterback in college football, and it's not even close. While some may have clung to names like Carson Beck or Quinn Ewers, this week exposed the vast gap between them and Shadur Sanders. Let's start with Carson Beck. Georgia's quarterback looked completely overwhelmed against a Texas defense that hardly matches the pressure Colorado faces week in and week out. Beck's performance could best be described as mediocre at best. Yes, they won the game because of their defense, but Carson Beck lacks the command and poise required to play at an elite level. The excuses are starting to pile up for Beck, but the reality is simple. Under pressure, he crumbles. Now let's talk about Quinn Ewers. The hype surrounding Texas quarterback came to a screeching halt this weekend when he was visibly rattled by constant pressure. Running for his life in the first half, Ewers looked lost, leading Texas to make a desperate move and sub in Arch Manning. But let's be clear, Manning didn't fare any better. His performance was shaky at best forcing Texas to turn back to Ewers, who still failed to regain control of the game. It became obvious that neither of them could handle adversity when the stakes were highest. This brings us back to the most crucial point. We've all asked the question, what would these quarterbacks look like if they were under the same relentless pressure that Shadur Sanders faces week in and week out at Colorado? We got our answer this weekend. They crumbled. They panicked, but Shadur Sanders, he thrived. Despite playing in challenging conditions, unpredictable weather, and relentless defensive pressure, Shadur made it look easy. Not only does he thrive in adversity, but he also elevates his game. While other quarterbacks get flustered after a few blitzes, Shadur stands tall, makes the right reads, and delivers pinpoint throws under duress. It's not just about talent. It's about composure, resilience, and mastery of the game. Week after week, Shadur proves why he's in a league of his own. While Beck and Ewers struggled under pressure for one game, Shadur lives in that reality every week and consistently rises above it. He doesn't just play the game. He controls, commands, and dominates it. So, let's end the debate. Shadur Sanders is the best quarterback in college football, period. And as we move deeper into the season... That gap is only going to grow. You thought you was going to get what we got? 